everyone so let us start our class so we were discussing sets exercise 2.4 and today today we have to solve question number one number e right till number d we have done e and f are left of the first part of question number one so let us solve question number e it is given that if a union b is equal to a then b subset a and conversely means you have to prove it conversely also it is given that Number one, number one, number A, question number E solution. It is given. So let at first I will take let A union B equal to A, and I will show that to show B is a subset of a and then you have to prove the conversely part right so let us start let x belongs to b i'll start with the left side okay let x belongs to b now the rule is what i have to go to given how can i go to given very simple if x belongs to b then obviously x belongs to a union b how i've written logical concept what is the logical concept it is very simple say it is one two three Union, say so this is a okay. This is a, and say it is three, four, and five. Say so it is b. Then what will be a union b? A union b will be equal to one, two, three, four. Say so let me make it all a disjoint. Say four, five, six. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and what? Six. So now you see, if six is x, so x belongs to b. Hundred percent. It will be. It, it will say in a union B. Four belongs to B. Four belongs to a union B. Five belongs to B. Five belongs to a union B. Union mane ki union mane tad saw bahe. But repeat na hai bostu bila. So jodi x B thake, surely x a union B to thake ko. Jodi x A thake, surely it will stay in union also. But the opposite one is not correct. Okay, the opposite one is not correct. A thake le union a thake ko correct. Surely thake ko. One two three you see one two three. B thake le union a thake ko that is also correct. But the opposite is not correct. Union of thakile, a thaki bo kuno guarantee nai. Union of thakile, b thaki bo kuno guarantee nai. Okay, but this is correct. If it stays in b, then it must stay in a union b also. Union of meaning a to her, right? So if x belongs to b, then obviously x belongs to a union b, right? So now, now you can use the given a union b is equal to a. So I let x belongs to a from where I've written since a union b is equal to a. That's why. A union B is equal to A. So I started with B, and now I finished in A. So I can write there for B is a subset of A. First part done. Now the conversely part. Conversely, conversely, let this time I will take this as my given. That is B is a subset of A, and to show what I have to show, I have to show. That uh, a union b is equal to. A. So let me start. Let x belongs to a union b. Now x a union b thakhi le directly ma likhi bon aur x belongs to me. B thakhi le union b likhi pariva. But a union b thakhi le b likhi bon aur a likhi bon aur why you see, you see you see four belongs to a union b but four does not belongs to a. Five belongs to a union b, but five does not belongs to a. Six belongs to a union b. Six does not belongs to a. Similarly, one belongs to a union b, but one does not belongs to b. So union of thaki le, the individual set of thaki, what are kuno guarantee na thaki? In case of union. Oh, but set two thaki le, union of thaki, what are guarantee asse? Eight thaki le, two eight asse, so two surely union of asse. Five b asse, so surely five union of asse. Ulta to na ho. So yet ulta to na ho. I cannot write x belongs to a union b implies x belongs to. I cannot write that. So I have to break it. Implies x belongs to A or x belongs to what? B. Now implies use the given part. That is, if x belongs to B and B is a subset of A, Assam is a subset of India. So if it stays in Assam, it will stay in India, right? So if x belongs to B, then x will be will stay in A. So that since B is a subset of A from given condition, I have written that once x belongs to A or x belongs to A implies x belongs to A union A, and A union A by idem potent law it will be x belongs to what A. So what can I say then? 
I can say that A union B, therefore I can say that A union B is a subset of what? A. This is the first part done. Again, again, let, this time I'll start with A, let X belongs to A. Let X belongs to A. So implies, so implies, I have to go to A union B, right? I can go directly this time. Because the A which are 1, 2, 3, then it will stay also in union. This time I can go direct. Then I get B thakki le surely union of thakki Then I got A thakki le surely union of thakki bo. Because na same example, I erase that part, but the same logic. Jodi A union lo kiba doubt clear kori bo ase, at a video already as a playlist, so check that video regarding subset and union, okay? All the doubts will be clear. So the A thakke, directly I can write X belongs to A union B. Ulta to no hobo, ulta to no hobo. Union of thakile directly likhi bo noru X belongs to A. Because if X belongs to A, X belongs to A union B. So therefore I can say directly A is a subset of A union B. This is equation number 2 from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2 what I can say that A union B will be equal to A. And with this question number E is finished. Right? So if you have any doubt regarding this video, regarding any concept, any logical part of this question, this question was somewhat easy. But you will ask, okay? If you have any doubt. Now I will ask you about the next class. Question number 3, question number S. Thank you.